Good evening. Amid ongoing confusion on our bus network, South Australian taxpayers are now being kept in the dark about one of their biggest ever transport investments. The South Road Superway was supposed to partially open tomorrow, but the government won't tell us if it'll be ready in time. At $842 million, it's the most expensive road in the state's history. But taxpayers still don't know when they'll be allowed to use it. When the government's ready to make an announcement, I'll, you'll be the first to know. The entire elevated superway between Regency Road and the Port River Expressway was due to be finished late last year. Wet weather pushed that deadline out until the end of February, but we were told southbound lanes would be open by tomorrow. Less than 24 hours out, okay. Infrastructure Minister Tom Coutsantonis refuses to confirm if that will happen. So it's on schedule? It's on schedule. So the southbound lanes will be open tomorrow? It, the southbound lanes will be open when the contractor tells us they're ready to be open. Opposition spokesperson Vicky Chapman says she's received an invitation to the opening of one lane tomorrow, but won't be attending. I've uh, written to the Minister today, um, thanking him for the invitation, late as it may be. Uh, and uh, extended my apology and asked him to let me know when he finishes the job. Exactly when that will be is now also unclear, adding to motorist frustration along our north-south corridors. I've been driving up and down this for the last couple of years and it's really given me the yips. Oh, I think it's uh, disgusting. I think they should uh, be open a long time ago. Eddie Godfrey now joins us live and Eddie, motorists are the losers here. Well, that's right. Without knowing exactly when the Superway will open, it's hard for motorists to plan their travels. And there are concerns this week's hot weather could further delay the project. Minister Tom Coutsantonis says this current stretch of heat isn't ideal for laying asphalt. So whether we see one lane, numerous lanes or even no lanes open tomorrow, it appears we're just going to have to wait and see. Back to you.